Hey guys, Brad coming at you here with a little uh, baseball mail. Hmm, you say baseball. Brad, you hardly watch baseball. <laughs> You're darn right. But, if it's a good product, I break baseball. You know, museum collection I did some, Bowman I did some, you know. And they came out with Topps Definitive Baseball this year. Which you remember in 15, they came out with in football. It was like their last football product. And it was freaking awesome. So I was like, oh man, if they could just make baseball like that. And they pretty much did. So why now it's pricey. The aftermarket is around 3000 a case. And it's a three box case. So basically a thousand a box. That was aftermarket though. That was not the pre-sale price. The pre-sale price was about eight hundred a box. Still expensive, but you know, six hundred a case difference. That that's actually a pretty big difference. So most of the breaks fell under the more like eight hundred something a box. You know, I noticed some card shops were selling at a thousand, which kind of shame on them because I know what they paid for it. <laughs> they paid under eight hundred for it. So. But it's pricey, but at least you get quality content. You get a bunch of nice stuff. We'll start, because I'm going to show you a bunch of nice stuff. We'll start with the, I would say, three downfalls to the product. No Cody Bellinger or King Griffey Jr. At first, when I saw the checklist and saw they weren't on it, I said, well, maybe they're not having redemptions. You know, because those guys are often redemptions, you know. But no, they had redemptions in the product, but for some reason, Bellinger and Kring Griffey Jr. do not have autographs in this product. Found that odd for your high price point product. Two, a lot of the, you get two patch cards, just patches per box. They're all pretty much second tier players, I would say. You know, you don't have Harper and Trout relics. They only have, like, the one one jumbo patch, you know. But, like, the regular relic cards, it's all second and third tier players. And the third thing is, is there are some napkin autos. Which, again, if you're in that 2500 to 3000 a case range, you would prefer not to have the napkin autos. But that's really about the only three things I can criticize it with. So here you go. Did a break with the Mets. These you're seeing here are all with KT Authentics. So definitely check them out. Like them a lot. This is number one out of 30. Blue. Patch of Michael Conforto. It does have a hologram. I have not looked it up to see what it is. It's a different color of patch, like it would be a futures game or all-star or some alternate jersey though because that's like a red I think it's red yeah that's red in there so I don't know what that's from I'll have to look it up on the sticker but uh, that's what the regular patch looks like this some of these look really awesome this one they kind of messed up but it's a 101 letterman it's the letter E of Jonas Cespedes, but as you see, the design on the bottom is covering up the e, <laughs> the last part of the E. So, kind of a little bit of a design flaw with that particular letterman. A lot of them look nice. But that particular design with his, with the E doesn't quite work. <laughs> so, you can tell if you bend it down this way. I don't know if you can see the E, but you can see it down in there. It is the E in Cespedes. But 101 nonetheless. And then the big boy with the Mets, to me, also in this product, it's about an 18 product. Sadly, that's the downfall of the breaking side. If you don't buy one of the eight teams, I would just pass. But to me, the Mets were the best value team. But it's dual auto, Nolan Ryan, Noah Syndergaard, Green, 4 of 10.
The other decent value team is the Reds. But the rest of them, you know, buy your Braves, your Red Sox, your Yankees, and just hope that's the case you hit a lot of good stuff. But don't buy, don't buy even the Angels just looking for Mike Trout. Because he's going to come every five cases, but how much money did you spend to hit one Trout in five cases? Same with Harper for the Nationals, so I stayed away from them. But a lot of nice stuff. Mets have Piazza, Ryan, Syndergaard, DeGrom. Um, they have a ton of like the Letterman stuff in the jumbo patches. They have books. So Mets, I thought were some good value. So there you go. Nolan Ryan, Noah Syndergaard. Like I said, they're awesome cards in person. Everything's on card, obviously. These things won't pick up. If you guys seen Definitive Football, it's the same thing. But it has like little designs you see there on the left. Very sharp cards in person. Now to the Red Sox break. I got another Red Sox and Braves break coming later in the week. But And I'm not even showing every single card I hit in these breaks either. Because some of those are going to be some Christmas gifts. But 3 of 10, dual auto for the Red Sox. I thought this was neat because these are... You're finally starting to see them more and more in products now, but you don't see them together very often. Jason Veritek and Johnny Damon, dual autograph. A couple fan favorites there, I'd say. So, very sharp, very clean looking stuff. And the big boy... These are truthfully are awesome. They're thick. They're like 180 point, but they're frame cards. The frame metal card, just like you'd hit kind of in museum. And they're numbered to 30. It's a rookie patch auto, numbered to 30. And there's vets in this too. Of Andrew Benatendi. So I haven't really looked, but I know he's been kind of hot. So, and he's a Red Sox. Yeah, that's a pretty badass card, and it's heavy. But, beautiful design. I highly recommend the frame patch autos if you can afford them, for sure. Very nice. Sharp looking card, nice patch. But bam, Andrew Benatendi. And that ain't it. The Braves. Now, these, the Braves is over two breaks. So these three cards, I hit over two breaks. And I hit another one that, I, like I said, I am not showing because that's going to be sent somewhere else. But First up, uh, one of the case hits they'll even list it is an inscription card. But, of course, about 25% about of them didn't write an inscription. But the ones that did... I imagine are going to command uh, pretty high dollars. And this one is of John Smoltz Dream Big Inscription. Number 33 of 35. Very sick card. Mr. John Smoltz. Dream Big. And then this is pretty awesome. Number two out of five, patch autograph, none other than Greg Maddox. So, very nice. But that ain't it. The biggest one I hit with the Braves, it's definitive autograph relic card green parallel, which is just like the Maddox. It'll look like that, but in green. My guess, because there is not a shot in hell I'm redeeming this, by the way. I would love to see it, but not a shot in hell I'm redeeming it. I ain't taking that risk. But it's a 10 or less. I'm imagining if the base auto of Greg Maddox is to 5, that this is probably to five or less, if I was a betting man. But, I don't know for sure. It's definitely ten or less. 
10 is like the normal, you know, as you saw with like the dual autos and stuff, they're to 10. But I have a feeling it's probably to 5. But hen of Hank Aaron. And like I said, it'll look just like that Maddox. Could be a patch. Could be a bat. Could just be a jersey card. You don't know. But awesome of Hammer and Hank Aaron. So there you go. Like I said, I got another break with the Red Sox and Braves coming in. And then that was it. But like I said, the stuff's pricey. It was not cheap to join the breaks. But like I said, I mean, I obviously it paid off. I mean, I did well on them. And also, got a few stuff for some tubers too. Because like I said, you didn't see every card. Um, so Christmas time, you might be seeing some definitive, some of you. But yeah, that's what I got. Like I said, awesome product. Um, the tendency on most stuff, I would say, hey, wait to pick it up. But I had that problem with football. The problem is that this stuff, and it's not like NT where it's overproduced. You don't get this stuff within the first month. You may not see it for a very long time. So I would recommend if you see something you like, just grab it. You know. Unless it's numbered to 50 or something. You know, one of the rare cards numbered to 50. If it's 10 or less, just grab it. Otherwise, it may be a year before you see it again. Um, but, yeah. So that product's freaking awesome. What you see there is not an anomaly. Like, I didn't even hit... You know, I hit a lot of the good cards of the case. But there was a 101 Cal Ripken. There was a 101 Aaron Judge. In both those case breaks, I did with them. So, stuff's fire. Fire. Now, there's a, some cases, of course, like anything, that are just average. But for the most part, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, so, yeah, I heard uh, we got another hurricane coming. This time headed for Florida, I guess. So, uh, the Dolphins game is in flux. So... I'll wait to see what happens with that. Thursday I'll be making football video. That'll be football video. This is baseball. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you do see something you want, hit me up. Some of this stuff may not have prices yet. I don't know. I haven't really looked it up. But, you know, I'll work with you. I'll be fair with you. So if you are interested, hit me up. And uh, that's all I got. Next video would be about foosball. Look for that. I'm off Thursday. We'll do it Thursday. So that's all I got. Thanks a lot for watching. Definitive is fine.